Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome to the channel and welcome to another What's in the Box Wednesday. We haven't had one for a while. This one is going to be episode 9 and I think you're going to like it. So here is the box. The box came from Weevil Slot Cars in the UK. It's something that they had in stock that Pendle don't seem to have yet. This surprised me a little. Anyway, onwards. It is beautifully packaged as really just about all the retailers in the UK do. They are very good with the packaging. Can't fault any of them. And it is obviously a slot car. One fault with this packaging though is there's no sweets Weevil slot cars. Everybody else sends me sweets with my cars. Uh, a couple of flyers, the 2023 Haven Scale Electrics and the last ever Orpington slot car event. So, hmm, that's a bit sad, isn't it? Right, move on. Let's look at this slot car. Just check. No, there's definitely no sweets in there. So, as you can see already, it is a Carrera digital car. I don't buy those very often, do I? So we can do a big reveal here. Ready? Ta-da! It is the Carrera Digital track cleaning truck, which is a kind of a rehash of their Wrecker truck that they've done twice before. I think there's a red one and a yellow one. Well, this one is an orange one with a few extra bits attached. And possibly quite uniquely for a slot car, it comes with its own Swiffer cloth and instructions on how to attach it. That's probably a first in slot car world. Usual Carrera box with a sticker saying it will not go around a banked 130 turn, but I don't think Carrera make a car that goes around their own banked 130 turn, do they? Very few if they do. Pretty much every box says they don't. So it is a fairly regular wrecker with this extra attachment, this kind of grey piece with the two red flags on it, which you attach the Swiffer cloth to, which comes in the back section of that case, and drag it round your track. We will see in another video whether that works or not. Overall, I mean, Carrera make this genius idea where they've got a cab and a chassis that's standard and they put different bits on it. And they've got that kind of big front fender on it. Um, some various bits of writing, which I'll go on about in the next video where I do a proper review of this car. Nice checker plate effect inside there. A few little details, there's some fire extinguishers and... And it's a fun thing, despite me saying I was never going to buy a road car or any kind of made-up car. I kind of like this one, and it's going to do a job for me. I think anybody who's got a fairly big track or a track with inaccessible bits is going to really want a track cleaning truck. And it's a load of fun as well. Other things I've been doing I should tell you about. I've made a few of these magnetic racing picnic benches. There may be a little challenge to do with that that will come up in a video possibly next week. So, have a think about that one. And I have been working on the Track Fans TV tower. And there's Pete in there. I've upgraded him with a film crew. He's sitting at his desk with his computer. But yeah, I've taken away the need for microphone batteries and camera batteries to go flat, which is what he always seems to have. There's a few other bits going on on the lower floor as well. So, I've got some more scenery to make in there first. And then we can finish off the outside of that. Because you have to put the scenery in before you finish the outside of the building. So there we are. The unboxing itself was the track cleaning truck. And yeah, I'm a big kid. Let's look at the flashing lights. There's the headlights. 
There's the flashing roof lights. Yeah. Or you can have it with just the roof lights. Or off, of course. But let's have all of them. And now I'm going to drive it off into the sunset until the next video that comes out, which will be a proper review of this. So, thanks for watching this video. As always, if you liked it, you'll find a button specifically for that. If you can subscribe to the channel, that really does help. And if you hit the bell, you'll get a notification when I post the full review video of this truck. And of course, check out this slot car channel.